What's going on, everybody? And thank you for joining me on The Art and the Artist. I'm your host, LA Phil. On this episode, I got to speak with talented artist and Twitch streamer, Emily, based out of Georgia. It is very hard not to like Emily. And I'll preface that by saying there's something about her reserved, almost shy demeanor and particular interests that remind me of my 13-year-old daughter. We as humans tend to box people in, whether it be based on gender or race, and have a preconceived idea about what they should be interested in. In my personal opinion, Emily's fantasy style of artwork breaks the mold of what most people think a black female artist should be creating, and I am here for it. Whether it's the beautiful watercolor paintings which originally brought Emily to my attention, the digital artwork, the numerous original characters that she has created makes me think that there are countless uses for her artwork. When I see her post or just go through her art, I think, wow, this could be illustrations in a children's book or its own comic series. Uh, the characters could be used in an RPG. The sky is the limit for her. I am rooting for you, Emily, and I know your fans are too. So without further ado, I present Emily. All right, so yeah, so thank you again I um, for taking the time. I, I know I, uh, I always get a little bit I don't know, nervous sending out these uh, <laughs> these invites because it's like, I don't want to <laughs> interrupt. I know artists are busy and they've got a lot going on. And you especially, I know I, I've seen your, your Twitch streaming page. You've got some things going on. So I always, you know, it always means something when you take the time to come talk to me. So again, thank you so much. Yeah, it's no problem. I really appreciate the invite. I was nervous coming up here because I'm not good at interviews at all. Oh, so this, this I, is, I like <laughs> to keep it kind of light. I, I I don't know. Oh, actually, I do know you see my fib interview because I, I saw it on your on your Twitch stream. I thought that was pretty cool. I kind of freaked out when I saw that. Oh, <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I keep it light. And, and like I said, if there's anything that that you don't want to talk about or something you want to cut out, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. It's, you know, it's totally up to you. Appreciate but um, it. no problem. All right. So let's uh, let's, you know, start from the beginning. Where are you? You said you're in Georgia, actually. Actually, I know that. But are you from Georgia? I'm from Georgia. I'm from like a military family, so we kind of uh, went around every everywhere. Like I yeah. originally, like I was born here, and okay. then maybe like two years later, we went to Alaska. Whoa! And then, really? No, New York, and then Alaska. Okay. So, okay. I spent majority of my childhood elsewhere, but as I grew older, like high school, mm -hmm. middle school, high school, I came out to yeah. Georgia. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Fun did times. you spend? a lot of time in alaska or was that like kind of a quick stop on your way back uh, it was a, it was a long oh, time oh really oh, yeah <laughs> yeah okay it was my childhood oh wow yeah you know i uh i've been to alaska surprisingly on a uh, like the way most uh californians do on a on a cruise <laughs> a while ago oh. it was uh that we yeah uh, we left from seattle but and i'm kind of like an outdoorsy kind of guy so I loved it. It was great. Yeah. And it, it was during the summer, so it wasn't like crazy weather, but it's, you know, just, it's just really, really cold. <laughs> Coming yeah. from a place where it's like, you know, 80 degrees normally all the time, but, but oh, it was beautiful. That's awesome. All right. Okay. So let's, let's get right down to business. How long have you been? Okay. Let me start by saying this. Okay. I, I usually don't remember the first piece I that made me follow an artist um because usually how, how it goes you know i twitter instagram and if i see something i like you know i immediately follow you but i remember the exact piece of yours that i saw that made me follow you and it was a fairy walking on a power line like with one leg up and she's kind oh. of in between two buildings do you know what i'm talking yeah. about yeah absolutely i saw that i still i remember i saw that and i thought that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I showed it to my daughter. I was like, look at this, isn't this cool? But uh, but yeah, that that was it. Ever since I saw that one, and I, I know going through your socials, that was like at the bottom, like at the, I don't know, very beginning, but I have been following you since I saw that, since you posted that one. And your art is absolutely beautiful. I, everything you've done, like I, I show, I show my daughters because she's very much into anime, my oldest daughter and you know kind of fantasy imagery and you are a a big hit in my house so that's uh <laughs> it's really 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really cool to 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 talk to you. Very much an honor. I'm flattered. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I do. So so what um uh, what made you want to be an artist? Were you always just an artistic person growing up or or was it something that you kind of had to work at? It's definitely something I had to work at. Um uh, I uh didn't really start art mm. until maybe like start start like sophomore in college oh, like whoa, i really yeah i have been doing art for a long time wow I, incredible okay <laughs> i my first inspiration for art was like a studio ghibli movies like kiki's delivery service and stuff like that okay and i was like wow i want to i want to do stuff like this but i was like maybe like a young kid i was like mm -hmm. eight and you know when you start doing art it's not good yes. and i was yeah. easily <laughs> I was easy discouraged. I was like, wow, this is trash. I don't uh, want to do this yeah, anymore. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Like so the first I took drawing, a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was a little insecure little brat, but then yeah. I, I stopped and then I went back and to do art in uh, high school again. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I kind of got serious. But at the same time, my parents were like, are you sure you want to spend your time? Like this? They had expectations on me or whatever. Oh, so I was, I was a little science nerd, whatever. Oh, right. so it's like, okay. yeah, you, you'll be a doctor and all that good oh, stuff. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, yes, um, parents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I stopped again. And then I went to college and I met my people and I started. And then I got into anime again and all that good stuff. Okay. So hold on. what did you so, go to college for though? What was the uh the purpose? Science computer. Stuff? Yeah, it was yeah. computer science, but then okay. I got more freedom and then I went to like it wasn't an art school. I was already oh. in school, so I wasn't about to change oh, okay. the art class thing. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah. So I went with uh uh journalism and I went into the film. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, it's it's great. You know, when I getting to talk to artists like yourself, I I mean, I'm not surprised, but I find out there's so much more. And this is why I wanted to do the show. You know, it's not just, oh, this person can make a nice painting or digital art. It's there's so much more behind the the people that make these things. So, so that's awesome. Yeah. Gosh. All right. All right. So you're smart then. You're really smart. All right. That's I used to. I kind of <laughs> wasted away. <laughs> I don't All know right. now. That's so, so what do you how do your parents feel about it now now that i mean because you're pretty prolific you you create a lot and it's uh which is yeah <laughs> which is why i enjoy following you there's always something to do are they on board now or are they um maybe do okay that's good yeah, yeah they're on board now they're kind of yeah. like oh well, you're older and they see the money coming in so it's just like yeah and you what do you what you're happy them? yeah you, mm -hmm. you do what makes you happy kid absolutely yeah, well, that's awesome. All right, so where do you draw your inspiration? Because I know it's very uh, like fantasy based mm -hmm. and you do a lot of original characters. I, I want to talk about that later because I want to go more in depth about that. But yes, I like I, say, I am a fan, I, I, I know your stuff. <laughs> um, where did you draw your inspiration for the style that, that you use in your artwork? Um, I would say mostly, uh, it's not really anime, oh, kind of. It's for one artist, okay. uh, uh, Miyazaki, Studio Ghibli. You've seen okay. like, oh, uh, yeah, oh, sure. Like, no, I know. Uh, my name uh -huh. Totoro, Totoro. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. uh, what's the, yeah, okay, you know what I'm talking about. He is, okay. he is the guy mm -hmm. in his studio that's got me like hooked on like, uh, you know, this watercolor, watercolor, like flowy style. Yeah, yeah. And so I I gather most of my inspiration from him and this is another another man on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Uh watercolors by Shibasaki. A lot yeah. of Eastern Eastern yeah, artists, yeah. I will I will say. Because okay. they're the most I've seen do like watercolor art and I love watercolors. Yeah. That was my yeah. first medium. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I um yeah, I don't know. There's something about watercolors that I don't know. It, it always grabs my attention. If it's you know it's done the right way it looks absolutely beautiful it's um mm -hmm. there's a, a sort of a freedom with it you know i don't know it like it, it it flows i don't know i don't know how to explain but yeah no that's exactly it well you know i'm gonna get right into it okay so these original characters that you create have you thought i, I know i read that you were working on maybe a like a, a web comic or something like that are you still working on that or or have Not, you I the one that you're talking about, I know you're talking about because I put it oh. out there. Uh, oh, okay. The fantasy one is actually yes. 
it's taking a little bit longer because now I have these other responsibilities and all this good stuff. Yeah. But I have written a web comment. It's not all that good. It was more experimenting, and it's like a mm-hmm. horror genre. Genre? Okay. genre? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so that, the one. Oh, go for. It. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, I say the one you're talking about. It's 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 still a work in progress. Okay. Okay. All right. So I I wanted to know then. So when you have the ideas for these characters, is it okay? Do you come up with the idea? of the character first like okay this is their personality is going to be this and these are their likes and their do- and their dislikes or do you draw out the character first and then go from there i mm, i make the character first because i okay. don't use them for one story like once i make the character they're like they're my babies so they go okay. everywhere with me whatever okay. story i go they're usually in there okay okay Okay, that's good. Oh, so it's so it's sort of like, I mean, in its own world, like uh, I hate to compare it to the MCU, but it's it's its own. No, it's like a, a multiverse or something. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So all of them are connected. So so you're building this base of uh, infinite characters, all from your head that you <laughs> can put in and out of any I mean once you start doing any story that you create they could all be connected somehow it's yeah it's a base yeah That's essentially yeah. until I oh, add okay. like more it's uh-huh. just a little cheat I guess lazy writing I don't know <laughs> no no I think that's great no yeah develop the characters no I, I think that's great I think that's a great idea that, that's why I wanted to ask you yeah okay uh-huh. <laughs> so is, is there a setting that you have or because I mean, if it's like a multiverse, I mean, they characters could be anywhere. But is there like an idea world that you have for for what you're working? Um, on? It's mostly a fan. if I could say anything, it would probably be like a maybe a Lord of the Rings type kind of world. Oh, okay. It's like all fantasy based. Yeah, yeah, okay, something like that. Okay, but it's all right. It's very. It's everything is bare. It's not developed it's, it's yeah. just dragons berries and all that stuff flying around yeah no but the idea is there no that's, yeah that's awesome yeah okay <laughs> oh i get it so hold on were you a fan of like fantasy stories as a kid growing up or or maybe something that you discovered later down the line because to have this kind of i mean i think it's a grand idea it i feel like maybe it's could be something that that you've been thinking about since you were a kid like just imagining these things or did you did this all start when you got older and started really getting serious about about uh, your art? Uh, it's when I got older and got serious, oh, okay. and I had more like uh, freedom, you know, not worrying oh, that, about other yeah. people think and all that good stuff. Yeah, were were you maybe subconscious about bringing this to the forefront? Because I, I okay, I hate to get serious, but I do know that. And especially as a black person, to sometimes, not always, but to express different interests that are outside of, you know, the kind of the box we put ourselves in sometimes, mm. that it's you were kind of shy to come out with it at first. Did you ever feel any of that? Oh my God. It's so funny that you say that because I just got hit up with that yesterday. Um, yeah. Because I, what, Black people, you know, in our fantasy or Twitch, at least fantasy uh, categories and like all that stuff, you don't really see a lot of us there. And then especially women Mm -hmm. uh, in that category. So uh, Mm -hmm. I definitely got self-conscious because I I felt like I was an outcast and I didn't wasn't sure I wasn't going to like meet people or relate to the thing. So I was like, "Uh, I don't I don't want to be like, you know. Yeah, out and it. stuff like that yeah because yeah, uh-huh. i had that problem in um in middle school you know have you ever heard of like aragon and all that stuff okay, like uh, yeah. i used to read that stuff and um i used to get like picked on for it really? so yeah, yeah. i i didn't really yeah kids kids you know yeah. but <laughs> yeah no yeah, yeah. uh-huh it, it was very it was very hard but then you know what like i said i got to college and i met people like me yeah. Yeah. So it mm-hmm. was much more easier to mm-hmm. express myself. 
but at the same time it's I still have those like you know moments where I'm like I don't want to be an outcast so I'll keep yeah. it to myself yeah no oh, yeah I, I I know exactly what you mean um for me it was um all right so I when I went to school like elementary and even high school I never went to school where I live like my dad always sent us like out of the city and I remember just being like the only black kid in the class and and feeling like oh, like like how am I supposed to like this is I've got mm. no one there that's that knows like knows where I come from knows how maybe I'm feeling right now just <laughs> being surrounded by you know a bunch of other kids that don't look like me uh I will say this so I, I but the schools that I went to were very good and I went to Catholic school so it was oh. you know yeah so I think that kind of made a, a difference I did 30 kids in a class you know and and they they were you know elementary school was better but high school was a little you know it was you know very alone but I, I, the kids there were great you know the kids there were great even for me because like the way that I talk right like I grew up in Los Angeles I went to very proper Catholic school and I speak differently. I mean, and I, 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 I know it. And but I you know I've never really had anyone say that like anything about it to me. But right. I do. It does make me think of why do we, you know, tell tell other people that look like us that you can't be something else, or we're going to make fun of you for it. I do think that maybe it's getting a little better now, especially with the internet, because you can find more people that you know share the same interests that are you know that don't either don't care you know who you are what you are we like the same stuff or people that look like you that that enjoy it as well because it's so awesome i'm talking my daughter is <laughs> very much into gosh what can i say all right very much into korean pop very much into mangas very much ah. anime and and so it's uh it's it's great to see it because I do appreciate that okay she's got you know that's not like the only thing I mean but she's she loves it you know and you know spends a lot of time you know enjoying these things and I do feel like it's it's a little easier now because you could find people like you and you could find people who aren't going to be assholes and you could kind of weed out all the dumb shit by you know kind of creating your own little groups exactly so, okay okay all right so it has it <laughs> it's been a little easier now than like you said you do have more freedom that you're older and has it been easy connecting with people online that that don't you know that just see you for who you are and and that you guys share common interests is it either is yeah is it i mean oh. it's, yeah it's, yeah easy to find uh to find people and you know because i i was watching your your twitch stream and all the people commenting and you know and and you're very much natural at it. You're very good. And um, <laughs> I just thought, wow, like I, I, I got to step my game up because I, I'm not very familiar with it. But I was very, you know, like seeing you there, like, you know, I don't know you, but like, you know, I, I'm sure I'm older than you. <laughs> like, oh, that's like, that's so awesome to see because I wouldn't <laughs> be able to see anything like this when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, because I would died to see someone like me when I was younger too yeah because yeah. it it's the feeling of being included it's like it's the best mm -hmm. and it's definitely easier on the internet because I mean you're meeting with different people mm -hmm. like everywhere right yeah. so yeah. yeah we're talking it, yeah yeah it was like <laughs> I was in a small town and I was surrounded by everybody who's like a complete opposite of me but we look yeah. the same and it's yeah yeah, it uh, was kind of heartbreaking as a kid but yeah yeah i'm glad for it and it despite its little you know yeah. defects and all that stuff yeah yeah it's yeah i it's good and it's bad it's good and it's really bad at the same <laughs> at the same time yeah but, and, but, and i mean you can take advantage of it because that's why i twitch stream like i, yeah. I twitch primarily to have a uh an area for people like me or like mm -hmm. common interests yeah. it's building a community community and i'm very fortunate that i'm able to do that yeah no that's great no that's awesome yeah and uh i i think you you are you know 
uh, I mean, I hate to you know be so bold, but like I like an inspiration. Like I said, I I my my daughters are fans of yours, so that's inspiration. Uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 awesome. It's awesome to see. So, are you like a? I wouldn't say like you know not the loudest person in the room, but are you more of an introvert like in your personal life? If you are, does the Twitch streaming maybe help you? Uh, what I wouldn't say help because it's not a bad thing to be an introvert. I, I'm, mm. you know, somewhat introverted, but does it maybe make it make it easier for you to talk to? Because you know you're talking to a ton of people, as opposed, to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it is it easier for you using something like Twitch, or maybe not easier, just but helpful? You know? uh, in a way, yeah. I'm definitely introverted, like um, very introverted. It's became better when I started Twitch streaming. I mean, I mean, not like better, but I become slightly more outspoken. Yes. Especially okay. like you're on the internet and you're like open to everyone and people will say whatever to you. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, like yeah. a <laughs> keyboard <laughs> warriors type stuff. Oh, so, you know, sometimes you have to stick up for yourself. And yeah. I've learned that, you know, you can't just let people do whatever. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just because you're an introvert doesn't mean you don't have a uh, assertiveness, but I was the type of introvert who didn't have any type of uh, you know, setting boundaries or stuff like that. Okay. So Twitch stream has I mean helped me in, in that way. Like I'm becoming a more, you know, mm-hmm. I guess what I, a leader? I don't know. Yeah, a leading no, type. No. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, you can yeah. say that. I think that I think that fits. <laughs> Absolutely. I want to talk about fan art because I you've got some really good takes on on the fan art. Um, so I making fan art is it because there's so many things that you can choose, right? Is it <laughs> when you're doing something? Is it just something that okay, this looks pretty cool, I want to do it, or is it a character that maybe means something more to you that you would take the time and actually create this whole thing around them? Yeah, it's definitely a second one. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, okay. It's definitely yeah, because when I do fan art, I'm really into the series, like very yeah. into the series. So it's just like honoring their character. Like oh, okay. uh, what a recent one I did like for Ranking of Kings. Uh the yeah, show. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, I your daughter's probably watching. I don't know. It's a it's okay. a good show. Ah, depends. It's violent a little bit, but oh, it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's a it's a little violent. Okay. But I'm yeah. it's such great storytelling and character development yeah. Yeah. that I felt like I needed to uh wor- worship it somehow yeah. Yeah. so yeah. that's why uh-huh. I do fan art it, okay it okay that's dope really yeah because it. yeah you've got so much good stuff but there's there's one I took a note of because I absolutely loved it you did uh codename kid next door fan art oh with the, uh, Oh, yeah, I absolutely <laughs> love that one. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote it down here because as I'm, I'm going through all of all of your work, I go through your Twitter and, you know, your Instagram preparing. And I saw that one. I was like, oh, this is this is one of my favorite ones. This one is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. All right. Those are After, my girls. I, oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. OK. All right. So were you um? because I mean, I definitely was. And I know most kids are. But as I started making like. I don't want to say adult cartoons, but more mature cartoons, because, you know, like when I was a kid growing up in like the 90s, like early mid 90s, like the kids cartoons were like kind of babyish. Right. They were. But, you know, kind of lighthearted. But as you know, the years go on and OK, so take, for instance, a show like Adventure Time. All right. So that I was very much, you know, an adult when that cartoon came on and I absolutely love it. <laughs> but it's more of a mature feel to it. I so even like a, a, a show like Codename Kids Next Door, it wasn't like a little kid baby show. Like it was, it was fun. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, do you, were you always like a cartoon kid? And as you got older, did you, I'm, well, you, you were just talking about an anime show right now. Um, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so I, I still, I, I, oh, go ahead. I might have answered no, my I, question. <laughs> No, I was I I watch a mixture of both. I'm still into anime, but I I do watch um rather grown grown up stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. grown up, so I get interested <laughs> in that stuff too. Yeah, but yeah, yeah it's just some things I don't post and something I do. Like I 
keep in mind who interact with my posts and all that oh yes oh yeah that's true yeah you do have to think (laughs) about that okay so your your twitch channel is it how, how did that go now was this just people that you met like interacting with other twitch streamers or people that found you or or just people that you found along the internet or people that followed your art and found you now how does that work? like i said i i don't really know much i'm going to sound like an old man when i talk about <laughs> twitch right now but how did you grow that audience uh mixture of all of it because it's yeah. so hard it, it's hard to be seen on um, social media or yeah. i mean on twitch and I just kind of like put myself out there and people yeah. just came. And yeah. then I, you know, went and found people who like the same games as me on Twitch. Yeah. And then we just, you know, we bonded. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Hold on. How, what's the longest you've, you've streamed on Twitch? Because I've seen some people go crazy, crazy hours. I, I just have to know. <laughs> 12 hours. Whoa. That is, that yeah. is not. Hold on. What were you playing? <laughs> Uh, I was switching back and forth. It yeah. was just me and people, uh, you know, in my chat. We were just playing yes. games. It was a twelve-hour stream. They asked me to do it, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, uh, you have awesome. to keep me company, though." Yeah, and they did. And, yeah, that's super cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, you've got a great personality. Like I, I watch. I didn't watch all of your. You've got some videos, but I watched a few of them. Well, okay, yeah, I can, I can see why you've got. Some <laughs> you've just I seen see the good parts, like then. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, you know what you're right. <laughs> I didn't see the whole 12 hours. So, uh, (laughs) oh, but that's cool. That's super dope. We kind of hit on this a little bit, but what are your plans? I I don't want to say your end goal, but as far as your art goes, because when I look at it, I think there's so many directions this could go because like I said, when I saw that first one that, that I ever saw of yours, I thought, oh, this could be like a character in a children's book. That's the like the first thing I thought of. I was like, this is beautiful drawn. And, it, you know, definitely a story behind this. You could put a story behind it because, like I said, walking on power line in between two buildings, that's, you know, that's something there. But <laughs> is there, because it sounds like you've got a lot of things going on. Is there sort of, I don't want to say the end, but where do you see this going? Oh my goodness. I know that's, that's kind of issue. a very open <laughs> question. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's because that's my issue. I've always yeah. just been like all over the place because I just like to draw. I just like to make stuff. Yeah. But uh, you're not the first person. Like, you know, parents, they be concerned. Yes. They're concerned like where you're oh. going to go or where you're going to, uh, where's your path leading? And I was like, well, you know, if I could just make maybe continue continue making stories or um you know continue I, I guess making there so making I just I just like drawing yeah but I yeah, also yeah. I like to <laughs> I like to make stories so if I can keep doing that that's cool with me okay uh okay. maybe you'll go to something bigger maybe I'll uh, do a children's book because I did yeah. think about that in the past yeah uh make my web comic you know yeah I just yeah I'm happy where I am. So yeah, oh, that's good. I'm not trying to pressure myself in the future. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you can't, you can't do that. But, but I will say that uh, whatever you plan on doing, it, it's, it's going to be great. There was just, like I said, I was making stories up, looking, you know, looking through, <laughs> through your artwork. You know, there's just so much there. So wherever you, whatever you decide to, you know, go into fully and finish first, it's, it's going to be great. I, I have no doubt about that. I am a very big fan of yours. Like I said, there's something about watercolors that, that you know, <laughs> touch me. All right, so I've seen that you moved more into digital art. I don't know if it's recently or just something that that you kind of been doing for a while and just started posting it, but have you made a switch to that? Or And is it going to be, I don't want to say like a permanent switch, but maybe more digital art as opposed to just regular watercolor painting? Um, well, there's actually a reason, like I switched to digital art, not because like, it was like, well, yeah, it was cause it was easier, but because mm. I was run to like financial issues, like I used oh, to paint sure. a lot. Right. Yeah. And watercolors are uh, expensive. Oh, okay. And I already had this iPad for like, uh, my scholarship money. Okay. And so I had that. So I was like, um, so how do I switch my traditional art to my watercolor? Like all that's like switch mediums. Yeah, and so it's kind of 
it's kind of going to be digital art for a while until like yeah. you know okay get more money for watercolors yeah no i get it i understand you know you got to do what you got to do but was mm -hmm. there any uh, like reservations when you made the switch to uh to digital oh heck no i was yeah. like my pockets <laughs> 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 my pockets it yeah. feels nice Absolutely. but i mean right. art is art is uh yes. whatever you if you put your time and effort in it it doesn't matter yeah. if it's digital or uh yeah. traditional yeah. art is no yeah yeah it is, what art it is. Art, yeah you know Absolutely. So you had the i the iPad there for a while before you even thought of using it, or had you kind of fooled around with it? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I had it for school purposes. So oh, okay. I was just like, huh, I can do this with an iPad. Yeah. And then yeah. that's how it started. <laughs> okay. So it was an easy transition then. Uh, oh, Not really? At all. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. Because it uh -huh. felt un unnatural at first. Mm -hmm. You know, you're drawing on this like this smooth yeah. thing of uh, is it plastic? I don't know what this is. Yeah, yeah, kind of, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah it must be. Yeah, but it, yeah. it feels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All yeah. right. I mean, you can get like uh, some paper like uh, what is this screen protector? But yeah. I didn't know that till much later. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh. So they hold on. They have a screen protector that you put on that makes it feel like. A little bit more like you're right. Oh, no way. Oh, I didn't um, know paper. That. Yep. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So, that, oh, that makes it, you know, I'm sure that made it much easier then because it, it felt more like what you've been used to doing your whole life. Oh, I didn't get it though. Because oh. I was already used to, I was already used to what you I got had. Used to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But since you don't have to get all of the supplies and, you know, things like this have to pay for anything, you felt like you're, you're cranking out a lot more art that you started going digital? yeah yeah pretty much it's been yeah. um pretty easier doing that people call it cheating i'm no, just like you know it's not cheating yeah because studios yeah. have like other methods of cranking out lots of art yeah yeah you know uh, -huh. uh yeah. their favorite artist has like backup artists you know you gotta yeah. do what you gotta do yeah yeah you're right absolutely that's very true the people that you know that say oh this is you know this is cheating this is not you know traditional do you find that coming more from like old maybe older traditional artists or like you know diehard traditional artists or fans of of the more hmm. traditional style of art and when i say traditional too i mean you know because there are some people who are not into abstract art like at all they want you know like <laughs> i met those people yeah <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> so do you think it's more it's more the artist or or the art collectors well, it's people who say it's cheating are like people who are just starting with art. I'm not, because oh, yeah. when yeah. I have, I get my most compliments from, um, you know, older generation, like my yeah. older family members be like, wow, you can do that. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, yeah. yeah. It's like kind of opposite for me. Uh, uh -huh. I might get some things from like, a, I'm, it's kind of hard to tell who's what behind a yeah. username. Because I'm yeah, mostly they, yeah, like uh, posting on Twitter. Yeah. But in real life, it's uh, more comments from older people and like little, little babies. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No, I, I get it. I absolutely get it. <laughs> That's funny. This is going to sound, <laughs> this is going to sound bad when I say it. And, and I don't mean this in a bad way. Do you find yourself, you know, just creating more and more characters and more characters? and not maybe going in depth about where the characters are going to be like where the story is going to go now that you can create so much and and you said you know you <laughs> like drawing and i understand that just to keep going and going is it has it made it maybe more um i don't want to say slow you down because you're creating it's not slowing you down but uh just focusing more on creating the characters as opposed to the stories no I, I, okay. I stick with my characters because I already know how my brain works. I'll yeah. keep doing stuff and then they'll just be left in the dust. Okay. But I uh -huh. have to, I, I stick with characters and I develop the world. It's okay. like an organization process I have thing going, yeah. thing going yeah. on. Okay. Do you, is there like a, an art community around you where you live or is it mostly people that you've met online? Oh, oh mostly people I've met online. The art yeah. community here is mostly... Uh, kind of inactive really like they're yeah it, it's it's there uh -huh. but it's not 
as you know doing anything because after COVID hit it kind of like uh, stopped yeah uh there's an art guild here and i knew mm-hmm. i wanted to sign up as soon as i got here but i mean i graduated around COVID and all that uh, so that, okay. that was just terrible yeah but yeah. they haven't done anything in a minute oh, really? Oh. Yeah, so I just you know that's when I went on to uh, online and find my peeps. Uh, yeah, yeah. Spoke mm-hmm. to some of my college art buddies, and we just mm-hmm. what we do, but online. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It kind of cool. it kind of sucks, so yeah. Uh huh. Would you like <laughs> uh you know to be able to do more like local stuff where you live? I mean, or even just meet you know people that that do all kinds of different art where you live. Yeah, because um my area has a lot of um art medium what art medium music i don't know what artists like yeah that yeah, do yeah. that do things i'm not like familiar like we have a lot of graffiti artists okay uh uh monuments and all that stuff okay i'd like oh, to yeah. learn and uh talk to them about their stuff i just yeah i have no way of like you know uh, yeah. connecting not really yeah oh man. that oh, that's well that stinks to hear yeah i i think it's um well here it's you know, there's, there's a lot of artists in Los Angeles mm-hmm. and there's a, like a lot of gallery well, museums and then even like smaller galleries. And it's cool to like, because I like to go to like art show openings and stuff like that. And so and to go to one and then see an artist that had one, you know, maybe like a month or so ago and he knows that artist and, you know, they, the the gallery owners you know are familiar with each other and they go to their openings and stuff like that it's it's pretty cool to see but what i have learned that i was um i interviewed this artist from england and i was asking him you know the same the same question and he mm-hmm. said the same thing like most of his like the people he really talks about art with are people that he's met that he's met online and you know but he's, but you know it's, it's great because you know they they could talk amongst themselves, share their art, you know, just between each other and, you know, give each other like pointers and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, I could see that being a good thing because you can meet people from all over. I mean, right. anyone in the world that has, you know, different, you know, maybe different kind of a like, different way that they view things that that could be helpful. But but I think that's I think that's a cool thing to have, at least, you know, if you're not going to have the artist around you have a you know a nice group of people that you can follow online that's awesome okay. yeah and speaking of that i should probably i mean my art circle is like primarily like digital artists like mm-hmm. the people i meet aren't like the graffiti type yeah I, am i gonna have to search them down probably <laughs> i'm gonna <laughs> hunt them down or something uh-huh but yeah i'll find one eventually I'm yeah like, you will of course you will <laughs> of course you will Hopefully, uh, people see this and 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 reach out to you. Hopefully, <laughs> some people just see this in general. But, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I am just starting. This is new, and I but I, I love it. I love what I'm doing. Okay, can you tell me about? And I don't know if this is just something that you had posted and aren't a part of. But I found out about this because I was going through you know your artwork, uh, Deviant Art. It's like an art community. Of, is, is it? Like people just post their art because I saw you were in this because I was looking at one of the <laughs> one of the pieces that you did and I was like what oh this is super cool and then I was reading about why you were doing it it was a, a deviant art and what was this Kingdom Cookie Run it was like a oh uh, like a yeah you... sort of thing okay uh, the Cookie Run contest yeah they had yeah. some fierce competitors in that one oh, wow. yeah deviant <laughs> yeah it was very fierce oh. uh, deviant art is um like a it's a way older art sharing app. It's oh, okay. People have been using that since I was like elementary, I guess. Oh, really? It's been a while for oh, wow. so long before even people like did stuff on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I had no I idea. Am, yeah, it's old. It's very old. <laughs> I don't think they I don't think they use it much anymore. Yeah. Um, the people I follow, they don't use it. Yeah. Uh I think people may have went to Twitter but it yeah, still yeah. is some music on there yeah that's such a good idea yeah and gosh it's been around that long i, I had no idea <laughs> yeah because i i saw that uh the the artwork you made for that competition like that's super cool <laughs> like, i gotta find out what's going on with this i love it all right oh okay this is another thing i want to talk about you made a coloring book 
like a, a mini oh, coloring book yeah okay. that was a long time ago yes. when i was just starting out and being like what do i really want to do yeah and you know people were like uh your line work is so pretty and all that and my yeah. friend was like well just try to make my coloring book and that's what i did yeah and it it got a couple of sales so i was so yeah. happy about that i didn't i don't think i shut it down i'm not sure uh -huh. <laughs> i have to go look yeah, but uh yeah, <laughs> yeah it had a couple of my i think it had maybe like five six pages of uh yeah um uh, my characters i just created based off um different i think it was a animal it was a party 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 bat <laughs> oops mm -hmm. a party bat and then it was like a mm -hmm. uh k-pop mouse mm -hmm. and a fox girl fox model it was just uh, random themes I put yeah. together and it, uh, it did pretty well. So that was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah, I saw that. I was like, wait a minute. I don't I don't remember seeing this. <laughs> that's I think that's a great idea too. Um I'm gonna I gotta go check. Yeah. You said you don't know if it's so up and running. I'm gonna go <laughs> check that thing out. But no, I thought because I thought that was great because like you said, you said people told you that you know the line work is great and that's a good idea yeah just looking at your art i think i can understand why you know people see it and say oh you know that it does look like a great color i mean i and i've got kids too so i mean i've got you know it's it's something that i'm around a little bit more but but yeah it's great 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 idea to make the color book i i think it's awesome and if you have any any more of those in the future please let me know and i will i will let everyone <laughs> i know know because I, I i thought that was a great idea your art as, I mean, it would be great for a lot of things, but absolutely oh. perfect for for coloring books. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You know, I like to, you know, I don't think people give. I don't want to, uh, I guess, compliment compliment things that they like. You know what I mean? I think it's you could make some. I'm not, you know, like I'm saying, I'm not making your day, but you could make someone's day by giving them a compliment. I mean, if especially if you really mean it, you know. And I absolutely mean that. I, people should be more. Uh, should be more uh, uplifting of others. You right. Know I mean? Yeah. I believe that too. Is there anything that you that you're working on right now that you'd like to talk about? Working on uh, just commissions. That's yeah. <laughs> oh, like yeah. I've 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 been getting some good feedback on commissions, and this is actually the second time I've done commissions. Okay. I don't do them often, and this is the most uh, positive feedback I've gotten. Yeah. Since the first one, so I'm very very happy. Like I've. Yeah. We've been reading people's comments when I turn in the pictures and they're like, oh my God, I love yeah, it. Yeah. They'll, um, they'll be like, can I print this out or can I put it on, like make a sticker? I'm like, sure, it's yours now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I just, you should make, you should definitely make those stickers, huh? Uh, oh, totally. Yeah, that, I mean. <laughs> Hold on, wait, because I saw, how much are you charging for your commission? Because my I friends. saw something and it's definitely not enough. <sighs> That's what my friends say, but I don't feel comfortable, like you know, giving uh, taking people's money, except unless it's like a big corporation or whatever. Okay. But <laughs> okay. Uh, it was that like. Sweet, um, but I think you are selling yourself short one because I think people pay for it. Uh, it's it's too good. I, I'm sorry. I will say it. It's it's too good to be that cheap. It really is. But I'll have to work. I understand call. your reasoning. Yes, but. <laughs> That just just my opinion. That's that's absolutely awesome. So everyone watching this, go get your commission before the price goes up, right? Because because <laughs> <laughs> I know it's great. All right, so commissions are open right now. Yeah, commissions are open right now. For now. Um, okay. I'm I'm really loving the feedback. People are too kind. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. You're you're really good. You know, I I get the feeling. I and then. I am just meeting you now. I, I don't know you, but uh, you you are um, uh, you are not giving yourself enough credit for the talent that you have. I will say that. Absolutely. It's such a weird thing, though, because I've only been doing art for such a short amount of time, and I just don't feel like it's like you know. No, it's yeah, you're good. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. And look at that. A natural, right? Because that. That is not that something that happens that you just start and it's and it's that good. But hey, you know, I think I think you're great. Right. <laughs> Do you think you see yourself staying in Georgia for the foreseeable future, or have you had 
maybe not even plans, but okay, or like places. Okay, I would like maybe to live here and experience no, you know different what? things. I made plans. Like I, I, oh, I yeah. want to go out and see stuff. Maybe because I'm like a little nerd, or whatever. I do want to yeah. like go see, <laughs> uh, go to Japan and see um, uh, Miyazaki's um, sites. The inspiration for his stuff mm-hmm. too. And I'll let you know, we'll see all the sites in like, um, you know, Japan and South Korea. Yeah. Um, my dad told me to go to Georgia. Um, I actually had a friend go to Georgia. I think that's what they did stuff for Doctor Who. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I want to travel, but I'm not sure where I would like stay at. I yeah. haven't found like a permanent home, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're thinking of maybe traveling li- somewhere to live you know mm, maybe not yeah better, but for okay oh, that's cool, that's <laughs> cool. No, i think that's a great idea because you know different different places have different sorts of feelings to them i think i mean like growing up growing up here in la la has a certain feel to it but even some places like places that you know the locals know like it's it's a different feeling you know what i mean and i'm a, i'm like you know a big like hiking outdoors kind of kind of mm. guy i think it's just because i'm surrounded by city my whole life i just like you know to get out but we went to uh my family and i went to minnesota not too long ago and a few years ago and the feeling of that place you know it was, it was different but you know but i liked it you know what i mean it's getting to see other places especially like like i said outdoor kind of stuff it's you know i don't know it's inspiring so i i i totally get wanting to go Going. yeah mm-hmm. there's not a lot of greeny or greenery around here except like oh, right. uh hiking i go hiking like a, a place like two hours out of here that's just oh are you serious? Hey, that's the closest yeah, oh that's, that's the wild. closest we don't have a lot of stuff here i i would like uh-huh. to go somewhere like more green yeah. but like farther away because I've, I've seen military family i've been around yeah. america so yeah. i would like oh, okay, to like yeah. go out yeah out of the country yeah no that, yeah. that makes sense did moving around a lot as a kid this is such a cliche <laughs> question but um like having to move around like that like like how was that as because i couldn't imagine that having to make friends you know over again and just just being in a totally completely different place oh i mean i was an introvert so i was okay <laughs> oh okay Good. yeah i i mean yeah. i didn't i i made a couple of friends and um yeah. You know, we would hang out. We would sometimes keep contact over email and stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I should grow older. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, it was email. I, I don't think I had, I didn't have a phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I had an email address. Anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we would uh, <laughs> we would keep contact over email, but um, I don't talk to much of them anymore. You know, oh, okay. as you grow older, you lose contact. Yeah, 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 yeah. That happened. Well, where can the people find you? I don't have a lot of social media, unfortunately. Like I have my uh, Twitter at DinoFant, Fant with two Ts. Uh, Twitch, Emma Fant, Fant with two Ts. The Fant, because I'm a big elephant. I love elephants. Wow. <laughs> and so it'll always be like Fant and then names. Oh, okay. But those are the two uses I, I go by. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Very cool. Um, well, thank you again for coming on. I... Um, I enjoyed talking to you. You are, like I said, very popular amongst uh, a little girl that I know in this house. And um, yeah, I, I enjoy what you're doing. Whenever you do, whenever you do get something that's ready to come out, I would love to talk <laughs> to you again and talk about it. I'm a big fan of yours. I see, like I said, I make up stories looking at your art because it's so, you know, it, it's so great. And it, it really tells a story without even having any words to it so i would love to have you back on again uh, and thank you so much Emily, for taking the time thank you so much for having me it was a pleasure oh, i'm so glad you. i didn't like like fluster up no no this was great no absolutely <laughs> and like i said you got a big fan of me so like i said anytime you want to come back and talk anytime you got something going on let me know and we'll do it again mm-hmm.